just how are you feeling heading in after that second amazing, surgery? Amazing, amazing. Okay. Took uh, plenty of time off to get the body right, uh, get through the rehab process, um, and I'm back playing, so excited to play. So th the plan will be you're available for training camp, and as of right now, you'll be available on an opening night. So compete and play. Yep, ready to go. Uh, we talked to Cam Thomas. We talked to Cam Johnson. We were just discussing this, and they said you at the top and healthy 100% is going to make this team work like a well-oiled engine. Um, I think people forget, you know, me as a player when I'm healthy. You know, I, I can play basketball. I'm, yep. I'm pretty good, right? So um, for me, it's just being consistent with that and, and staying on top of my body um, and just getting better every day and staying in the gym with these guys. So when you made your season debut last year and you almost had a triple-double, yep. you were dominating the game without, without really being scoring. Healthy, without being 100%. But that was my thing. So when you look at that and you look at the players around you yep. and everyone, you know, kind of has the nets slotted into where they believe it's going to happen, but it seems like you could be the, the difference maker but that going back to that game in particular you still feel like you have that where you can dominate a game even if you're not scoring definitely I feel like I had to see the game differently um, and for me I feel like my IQ plays you know a huge role in that um, and I'm able to get my guys going uh, get them open shots and kind of dictate the pace of the game so being healthy being able to attack being able to score and do those things I was able to do um, and doing the little things and trying to lead by example just take us through the process after you had the procedure on your back. What those next couple of weeks and months were like for you to get back? Um, I wasn't moving at all too really? much. Um, the first couple of weeks is kind of just letting it heal. Um, and then it was just intense rehab uh, every day. So I was down in Miami uh, rehabbing. Um, part of that was a little bit of fishing, some mental breaks. But um, no, it was great. I was very consistent with it every day. I don't think I missed one session. Um, I've just been living in the gym, so you know I'm excited to get back on the court. Yeah, we were, we were watching before we came on the air, and it yeah. looks like you've been living in the gym. Yeah. Uh, is 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 the difference in your body from then to now marked for you? For sure, you got to have confidence in your body to be able to do the things your body can do. You know, it's uh, it's hard to go out there and do things when you know you're not capable physically. Um, and then obviously mentally, it's draining uh, to go out there and compete at a level that you know you can't really physically do it. Um, but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I put a lot of time into you know my body and and on the court. So I'm excited to get back on the court. Is it frustrating when you're getting some criticism because you're not playing, but people didn't know that you had this injury, and it feels like I don't know. You could stand on top of a building and scream. My my back <laughs> hurts me. But then when you had you, you did have the surgery, and people yeah. realize that. But how frustrating is that? Just from a personal standpoint, when you're fighting a battle that's very difficult to win. It's, it's tough. Um, but over time, I've kind of learned. You know, the the media isn't always correct, and people will say what they want in, in, in media. Some will choose to believe it. Some know the truth. Um, but I'm also not somebody who's going to, you know, go, go out on Twitter or X, whatever it is, and, you know, say what's going on or, you know, be on podcasts and things like that. Um, at the end of the day, I've, this is my dream, to play in the NBA and play at a high level and, and compete. So it's all, it's all I've wanted to do. Seeing you, seeing you on the bench in street clothes, you could see, you could read your body language sometimes that you can probably go out there, but you don't want to do it unless you're 100%. You could help this team. Is that the most nagging thing that goes into these injuries? It's that you frustrating because the expectation for myself is to help this team win right, and right. compete at the highest level. So physically knowing I can't do that is super frustrating. You know, it's, it's like you, you not be able to do your job at a high level because uh, someone's holding you back. Laryngitis. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's super frustrating. But at the end of the day, you know, I take it day by day. Um, got my surgery. Been very consistent with the rehab and, and basketball. So you know, I'm in a good place. If you, is it making an all-star team for you? Is it just maybe playing in 60 to 65 games? What do you see as a goal where you can get back and say, I know I'm back to being the player that I was? I think it's staying healthy um, and everything else you will handle itself. You know, I don't really put expectations on the all-star, things like that. Um, but me being healthy is, you know, pretty promising you know for those type of accolades and, and things like that i'm going to make you put expectations on a couple of guys that are on this team first and foremost cam thomas he said a couple minutes ago sitting in that chair when you're out there he gets a lot of easy looks and this team flows and also nick claxton what are those two and their continued progress mean yeah they, they continue to grow um they, they've been great you know the past couple years I've been here, um, uh, Cam's matured a lot. And I think, you know, overall, just learning to play with these guys. And he just needs to get a little bit more confident, right? Who's that? <laughs> yeah, Cam CT? <laughs> he has all the confidence in the world. Um, but we want to we want to keep that. He's just got to continue to learn. Um, and he's growing, you know. It's just his vision, certain plays he's making, certain shots he's taking. He's getting better. Um, and Clax just continues to improve. You know, he's always in the gym. So I'm happy for him. It seems like vintage Ben Simmons is when you grab a rebound, 
and you know run the length of the court and you hand it off to somebody for a layup. But what, where were you in your development? How old were you when you knew like you could like you, you could do that? Great, yeah, uh, grabbing the rebound and starting the break. It just uh, I think. I've always known I've had that ability to push the ball. I think just depending on who's on the team, you're reading the, the defense and how they're playing um, always you know, plays into it. So for me, it's just taking the best option or, or just seeing something you know, unique on the floor um, and attacking it. Jordy wants to create a new culture here moving forward. What has the experience been with him, and, and can you define that culture that he's trying to put out here? It's, it's been great. Um, there's, you know, the expectations for guys to come here and compete and work. Um, that's what we're all about. So, you know, I think, you know, as time progresses, we're going to see a lot more from Jordy. Um, I have a lot of faith and trust in him. Um, just, you know, knowing, you know, the background he comes from, um, how he coaches. So, so far, it's been great. If you can, if you stay healthy, and everybody hopes that you do, I mean, LeBron's on his 21st year. I mean, you keep yourself in unbelievable shape. That's a long how, time. How long, <laughs> so I was going to say, how long would you like to play? As long as I can play healthy, you know, I want to be able to compete at a high level. I don't want to be one of those guys that's, you know, still working through injuries or, or things like that. Um, I just want to play at a high level um, and, and get everything I can out of my body. Did you ever think of just giving up when you were going through this in your back? Or you'd be Hell, saying, you know what, I'm, there's, I'm done. There were nights where it was just, it was so hard for me to get out of bed and get into the gym, um, knowing, you know, physically I was, I was broken down. Um, but... That's it's something in me, you know. It's just something that I just want to play this game at a high level, and you know I'm a competitor. And if, if that was the case, I would have stopped if I wasn't, you know. So I'm here again, I'm um, ready to go. I'm excited. Is that what plays so many mental games, knowing what you are in your head, yeah. and then not being able to do it, like you said when you were it, down? Yeah, I think it's tough. I mean, you're you're mid-season and you're physically not able to compete at a high level. I think that's that's very challenging. Um, so I think this has been a great reset. You know, got surgery, been, been through the rehab process, um, and just staying diligent with, you know, the, the program. You know this division as well as anybody, having played in Philadelphia, now Brooklyn. What do you think about the division with Boston coming off a championship, the Knicks, and your old team, Philadelphia, as well? Stacked teams, guys that compete, um, well-coached. Um, they have their identity. So, you know, I'm always up for a challenge. You know, I want to compete against these guys, um, and it's going to be fun. You know, this is, this is what the NBA is about. Ben, we appreciate the time. Thank you so much for stopping appreciate by, and best of luck this season. That's Ben Simmons, Thanks, Chris Sheeran, Frank Isola. We'll be right back after these messages on Yes, 